हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल गो डिजिट जस्ट लाइक लास्ट वीक टुडे आल्सो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू वन वेरी गुड इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग द डायनेमिक्स के सिक्सटी फाइव बिजनेस सेंटर सो एज यू कैन सी फ्रॉम द स्क्रीन इट सेल्फ दैट ऑन द पार्टनर सोर्स वेबसाइट द लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डायनेमिक्स के सिक्सटी फाइव बिजनेस सेंट्रल इज़ नाउ अवेलेबल फॉर डाउनलोड सो this is the latest version which microsoft releases on uh, october if you can see the product release is on 1st of october 2020 and the name of this version is business central on premise 2020 release wave 2 so that means it's a very good news that we can get our hands on on the new version itself so what you need to do is that uh, you need to open up your uh mbs partner source website with your office 365 account and go to the download section in the download section itself you can filter out uh, the product uh, with the microsoft dynamics 365 business central when you click on this link you will get the nine links uh, pertaining to the information related to the business central so in that list only the very first link is the of the download of the latest version so as soon as you click on that you will be presented with this following page where there are the links available of business central with of different countries so another good news is that in this list of countries uh, the india country version is also available so although as you can see the in the bracket it is mentioned here that it is in a preview mode so let me tell you what exactly preview means so uh, just like we can see that preview uh, caption is available uh, is adjacent to only india and not to others countries is means that uh, uh, india uh, the business central version of uh, belong uh, pertain to indian country is actually uh, not uh, fully available fully means if i explain in a layman terms uh that uh, there are certain setups or you can say the processes which actually uh, related to the indian country are not fully developed or designed so that means they are not full fully full featured available and thus uh, you need to customize it accordingly or you can wait in the near future so that when microsoft releases the full fledged version of this uh, for indian country but the good news is that uh, obviously now when our country india is already available in the list so it is only a matter of some months that uh, in the following version which we all know that microsoft releases on uh, the wave 1 on april month of every year so we can expect by that time that uh, this preview caption will be eliminated and uh, we we get to see the full fledged version of business central for india also so by the time it is not available so what we can do is that we can download this to get our hands on uh, on this indian version and let's see that how actually microsoft design and what are the features available pertaining to the gst tcs and the tds tax structure of india okay so when you click on it uh, you can easily download the same apart from this uh, you can check out this uh, new and planned features page uh, of this new version which microsoft releases on october month here you can get to see all the changes which microsoft included in this latest version and just like microsoft have divided into three sections so for example in the first section which is administration part here you can see all the features which actually redesigned or you can say designed from the scratch which are which will be available in this latest version okay and uh, in the application section also you can see all these features which have uh, which actually introduced in this latest version and uh, they have also integ tightly integrated with microsoft 365 also which means that uh, one of the feature is that business central is now available on the microsoft teams 
uh, I have not personally used that so it's it will be a good thing to check out at how it actually integrate and works with the Microsoft Teams apart from that uh, we can check it out uh, the integration with the Microsoft Power Platform and uh, these are the certain three features which have been introduced in this latest version and this section is actually tells you the steps of migration to the business central cloud version online means the cloud version and not the on-premise version here you can get the steps on how to actually migrate from the dynamics gp to the business central and if you if we see this modern client section here we can see that uh, all the features which have been uh, done or introduced uh, at the developer end so you can check it out also so that's what I'm saying that uh, in this page you will get to see all the necessary changes which have been introduced in this new version and uh, I just hope that you can check this link I will provide this link in the description section and what I can say is that uh, uh, I just wish to all of you that please download this link and check it out uh, because uh, it's it's a long time pending task where where Microsoft have not introduced or released the Navision product or the business central product after Navision 2016 okay so what I have done already is that I have downloaded this and installed the same on my machine so let's check it out uh, how it actually looks so if I open this link so this is actually the latest version of business central of uh, Indian country but to my surprise and for your surprise also the caption of the company which is mentioning here is not Cronus India limited but Cronus UK limited uh, well uh, I don't know what's the reason behind that that why Microsoft have not written India limited here if you know please mention the same on in the comment section but uh, upon checking uh, the data here i can see that uh, this is actually an indian version and not the uk version because as you can see just like here this caption is written the biggest sales order was for rupees 29,190 right so rupees is actually an indian currency apart from that also here we can see the link of india taxation and when you click here you can set up uh, check out the common setups related to the gst tds and tcs and here we can see the goods and tax service tax section tds section and the tcs section so this itself reflects that it is an indian version but i can uh, actually uh, you can say that because it is in preview version so maybe because of that reason they have uh, not changed the caption or there could be any other reason also I personally don't know the reason behind that apart from this when I check the company information here you can see the address which Microsoft used here this time belongs to uh, India so but I don't know why Microsoft have not uh, changed the name and kept the name same as international limited and not India limited uh, but uh, as far as the setups and the process part is concerned it is very much an Indian version so guys it's a high time then that we can we, sh we all should download this and start using it uh, so that uh, we can get our hands on that what exactly and how exactly the tech structure works in this business central so I, I can only say this that uh, happy learning and uh, with this with this note I just want to finish my video here and if you like this video I request you to please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching the video